China has declared a major and decisive victory in its COVID response since November. Official statistics showed that small towns and rural areas have avoided a spike in COVID infections that experts had feared after the Chinese New Year travel rush. Now, this follows a surge in infections after an abrupt lifting on China's strict zero COVID policy back in December last year. Olivia Xiong visited the rural parts of China's Hebei province to see whether the worst is really over. 29-year-old Cao Liqiang has played in a funeral band for 13 years, but the Hebei native says he's never been as busy as in the months leading up to Chinese New Year. This after China abruptly relaxed its zero-COVID policy in early December last year, leading to a spike in infections across the country. But now Mr. Tao says his work schedule is getting back to normal. He's also happy to reunite with his family after three months apart. The father of two has sent his five-year-old son, baby daughter and wife to live with his mother in an apartment near the village after witnessing rising community infection in his neighborhood. <laughs> Mr. Tao says he's not sure if relaxing measures is the best, as he's still concerned that his son may get infected. But it's a risk he'll have to take as his son attends school in person again. In other villages we visited in Hebei province, it was a similar story. Some telling us they knew of neighbors who died after getting infected with the virus before the Chinese New Year. Pointing out to fresh graves in the distance, many of them are seniors with pre-existing illnesses, they said. This restaurant also saw a spike in funeral catering requests in December, despite low number of attendees at the wakes. Uh外边的朋友, Visiting several pharmacies in the province, medicine stock varied. Although all said there have been fewer people looking to buy medication to treat COVID-related symptoms. Well, I've just been inside this pharmacy in the village. The staff declined to appear on camera and they also didn't want us filming inside. But uh, when I asked whether fever medicine was available, they said that this was out of stock at the moment. But they did say that cold medicine and flu medicine was available for sale. Um, the pharmacy is empty at the moment. No customers inside. We've only seen uh, just one or two people walking in during the time that we've been here. In spite of an improvement, the COVID situation in China clearly still looks to be sensitive. Local county officials came to check on us on several occasions, interested to know who we were speaking to. On our request in one village, they agreed to let us film at their village clinic, keen to show us they had abundant supplies of fever and cold medicine, which they say have been distributed to those in need. We also spoke to their village doctor, albeit under the watchful eye of minders. He maintained that there are no COVID deaths in this village of 2,000 residents. 有人去世，但是不是因为新冠。我了解的是没有说一一个因为新冠是导致他直接死亡的这个情况，我我们反正是没有听过这个村里边有群众反映这个事。there still remain questions about the true extent of China's COVID infections and its COVID death toll, as the tally includes only those who died in hospital. But as the worst seems to be over, officials in rural areas say they'll now be focusing on vulnerable groups like seniors, children and pregnant women. Olivia Xiong, CNA, Hebei Province.